right, Chuck, we here, Auburn versus Georgia. What do you think about this atmosphere? Well, anytime I come to Auburn, it's a great atmosphere. But when you play Alabama, Georgia, teams like that, it takes it to a whole nother level. Make sure you tune in on Saturday at 6 p.m. Central Time to watch Auburn versus number 22 LSU. We're back for another episode of Stuck in My Thoughts. As always, I'm your host, Justin Stuckey, and I'm joined here today with the legendary Jay Billis. Appreciate you being on the show today. Thank you, Justin. It's great to be with you. Out here in Boulder, Colorado. Yep. How you feeling for it? Well, Stanford is playing them, so uh -huh. my son plays with Stanford. Okay. So I'm here to cheer on Stanford, but I love Coach Prime. All right, I'm here with Chuck Liddell. Chuck, what brings you to Auburn today, man? The kids are different from when you first started to now. How do you continue to drive the culture of the program to get guys to want to be all in for you and all in for Auburn? You're looking at Tennessee, they haven't won a ranked matchup all season. And you're looking at Georgia, you got Brock Bowers back, Lad McConkey's getting in the rhythm. You got to go with the dogs winning big. Good call. Let's go with the dogs. I'm here with the man, Anthony Anderson. We out here, Boulder, Colorado, prime time, under the lights. How you feel? Oh, I feel great, baby. It's exciting, man. It's exciting to be a part of this. You know, this is history in the making right here. You're going to be a star in this business because you're already being aggressive. You're making, uh, you're making big splashes already. And Janai Broom is already adding more accolades to his name. Broom was named to the coach's preseason All-SEC first team. It was one of 50 players to put on for the watch list for the Naismith Trophies Player of the Year Award. Five legendary former Auburn Tigers were nominated to the Pro Football Hall of Fame. The following names are Takeo Spikes, Willie Anderson, Carlos Dansby, Stephen Davis, and Tony Richardson. I even got a chance to interview Hall of Fame nominee Takeo Spikes on his favorite Auburn football players. Let's take a look. All right, I'm here with Auburn legend Takeo Spikes. Takeo, yep. there's been a lot of players that come through Auburn. Who is your favorite all-time Auburn football player? I can't say I have a true favorite just because so many guys are uniquely special. From the male perspective, how do you feel like girls basketball, girls sports in general, women's sports in general can get more traction and get the same respect as the male sports? I think it. I think women's sports needs more coverage. You got a Washington team still fighting for college football playoffs. You got Oregon State trying to get to the Pac-12 with wins this weekend. The true Pac-12. Yeah. True Pac-12. That'd be the Pac-2 soon, so. Right putting out there, but I think it's going to come down to the run game. Damian Martinez is going crazy, and you look at Washington, their defense, run defense has been abysmal. 127th rank, but I'm not counting against Michael Penis Jr. for Washington. There you uh, go. Uh, All right. You mentioned Joe Burrow. That's a good situation. You know, he wasn't necessarily playing at Ohio State. Then he changed his whole dynamic of his career. But some people may need to wait their turn, wait it out, like Bama. All those guys, especially in the quarterback room, they weren't playing when they first got there. Like Mac Jones, prime example. He was in the back burner. He waited his time, he had one year, then he's in the league. So where do we draw that line between waiting your turn and, okay, I need something new? Shifting the topics to men's tennis, the Tigers recently finished their fall schedule at the Wake Forest Invitational in Winston-Salem, North Carolina. Billy Blaze and Will Nolan won their doubles flight, and Raul Dubai qualified for the finals in his singles flight. In his Auburn debut, Nicholas Hang won his first doubles win and his first singles win of his collegiate career. Welcome back to Saturdays with Stuck. We're here for the Deep South's oldest rivalry as the Tigers take on the Bulldogs. Stay tuned for what we got. The things you have to overcome as far as injuries and the mental aspect, would you guys let your children pursue gymnastics in the future knowing all the things that they may have to go through. You know, college game day and college basketball is rolling rampant right now. And there's some top freshmen out there that are really doing their thing. You know, you got the Brandon Millers, the Grady Dicks, the Keontae Georges out there. And most likely those guys are going to be one and done players. You are well known in the broadcasting world, analyst world. You cover a lot of sports. What is a sport you've always wanted to cover? Wow. You know, I'm lucky, Justin, because I covered the two sports that I love the most. Senior tight end Brandon Frazier was the highest graded tight end in the SEC in week seven and was the third best tight end nationally. This comes after his breakout performance against LSU, where he scored his first ever career touchdown for the Tigers. Welcome back to Saturdays with Stuck. We're the Equestrian Center for the season opener versus UC Davis. I've never been to an Equestrian meet before, so stay tuned for what we got. And when you got done playing, getting out of NFL, did you have trouble finding your identity? Or was, was it a struggle for you? Whoa, God, yes. You guys in the Ravens side, y'all have acquired a lot of talent coming in this offseason, and then you making sure you secure Lamar as your quarterback with a new deal. What are the expectations for the team? Because y'all are really stacked, and you have a lot of you know, talent on, on paper, but what's it looking like, and what's your expectation for the season? Man, I feel good about this year. You've been at all three levels, high school, college, professional, and you always hear there's nothing like Friday Night Lights, and then college is great, but then NFL is a dream. What is your favorite level of football? 
I would say my favorite is high school. Yeah, 12 seasons in the NFL. What do you think Prime doing for college football out here? Oh, man, he's changing the dynamic of college football. I mean, you, you see it. You, you see the difference of last year and this year. The prime effect is real, and uh, I had to come and see it for myself. As you can tell, the atmosphere on the plane is really packed. We got everybody tailgating. They're getting ready. They're walking to the game over there. It's going to be a big day on the plans for the Tigers as they go against UMass and get the dub. We have reporter Jolie Cavanaugh with her segment from the planes to the pros. Let's see how our favorite former Tigers are doing in the NFL and the NBA. If you guys had five shots against Prohaska, how many do you think you could score? This guy's going to be replacing me in no time. <laughs>